Advice to heal after a breakup. How to tell if your man is not putting in enough effort. I'm sorry I could not date him because he looked too much like my brother and I just could <laughs> not get over it. What are your tips on locking down a man? Yeah, I've thrown myself in front of a car. Hi guys. Hey guys. <laughs> Madison's taking over the channel. This is Madison's new channel. So right now it's disgusting out, but we can't keep away from each other. So yeah. we're like, you know what? Let's hang out. We're going to ride. By the way, I have my phone this time, so I have questions <laughs> yeah. for us to answer. But the ones you guys asked me on Instagram, I forgot to screenshot and then it went away. But we have YouTube ones. Advice to heal after a breakup. It depends. Do you want it like, like, like brutally honest, or do you want it sugar coated? That's really what it boils down to. If yeah. You want it sugar coated? It's you were better than him. They didn't deserve you. You were you were a yeah. force to be reckoned with. They didn't understand <laughs> your beauty. If you want a cold turkey, it's you know what? Shit doesn't work out the way you True. want it to all the time. You need to pick yourself up, babe, and keep it going. Yeah. Like step that's up what or it is. Step down. Easier said than done. I get it. Like we've all been there dry heaving over the toilet. Just like oh, I can't believe they did this to me. But you know what? A month later, 20 pounds lost, you're over it. You get so over it. I would say, I know it sounds a little toxic, but like go out with your girlfriend. Yes. Like, I know some people are like, go heal at home, whatever. No. No, no, no. no. Too much thinking time. Too much thinking. Don't get me wrong. You will heal going through your days and different things, yeah. finding a new routine without them. But overall, you need to be with your girlfriend. You'll it's love true. the memories you have together. Absolutely. And who you were when you were with that person. Absolutely. And you have to remember, like, it's so easy to look back in the relationship and be like, oh my God, like, but we had so many good times. But it's like, yeah. you would be together if that outweighed the bad. Exactly. You know what I mean? So that's like the best advice. I Everything get. happens for a reason. And Everything. that's the... Okay. I got one for the girls. <laughs> I love her. She's so cute. How to tell if your man is not putting in enough effort. If he wanted to, he, <laughs> he would. <laughs> well, babe, you will know. You will know. You will know. You'll feel like shit all the time about yourself. You'll feel like yeah. you're not doing enough. Yeah. And then he'll constantly want to pick fights with you. You'll yeah. see your friends more than you see your boyfriend. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. I would say definitely you will feel it. You will feel unsatisfied. And especially if you start looking at other guys or other girls yeah. or whatever it is. Like, you'll start realizing that, that, that they're not giving you enough. Exactly. And yeah. you're seeking attention from other outlets because you're not getting it where you need to be validated. Already. Absolutely. Um, yeah. And it's just, don't be wrong, it's human, but don't stay in it. Yeah, don't. But listen, you can give them a chance to change because we're all human and your boyfriend or girlfriend might be going through things on their own right now that yeah. you might not know about. But, like, you need to open up that conversation because it's not fair to you. Are you considering marriage? How long have, like, y'all been together in our relationships? <laughs> oh, Madison. <laughs> Madison, take this day. Like, listen, I have had a set timeline in my head since she I was, like, eight. She has. <laughs> I want to, well, when I was... And I was like, I want kids by 25. No. I was an idiot. <laughs> My an life idiot. is a shit show right now. Anyway. Yeah. Idiot. But I want to be engaged by 25. I'm 24 now. I want to be engaged for maybe two to three years. So that brings me to 28 by the time I get married. And then I want to start having kids by 30. Valid. So that's my timeline. Valid. I say 30 is a solid. Yes. So now my boyfriend and I have been together for almost three years. Um we're getting like st more financially stable as things go i think that's very important um yeah. securing your jobs is very important and be just securing your relationship is also extremely important um it's so true it's just um so true yeah. with zach it's like we're at very like difficult points in our life right now so that's not our focus well covid messed everybody up yeah just financially just health-wise like everything so of course like me and zach's situation you it mm. depends on anyone's like relationship yes. you know some people are christian they want to get together really really quick different yeah. things but me and zach are just like taking it as it goes but i would say around 30 i do want to have children like yeah. of course that that ballpark i want a son though too but i want no girl. i definitely want the the boys first but i definitely yeah. need need a girl 
Oh, we need a girl. <laughs> Me and Madison will probably live in like similar distances one day. I just like predict it somehow. I'm oh, like, yeah. yeah, California. Like, babe, am I really going to California? No, like, you're not. No, I'm really not going to you're California. Not going to California. So, like, we'll I'm be like, I'm not going to let you. No, we'll be like, okay, we're going to the nail salon. Like, we need that, okay? Like, we can't just have boys. Yeah. Like, I love boys. But... We'll be um having lunch in our little apartments. Oh, absolutely. We'll be <laughs> broke. Because or... we can't afford a house. We'll buy two family together. <laughs> we will. We literally will. Okay, let's see. What are your tips on locking down a man? To be honest with you, when I went on when I went on a date with my boyfriend now, I had given up. And I, <laughs> Madison, the bar was low. The no, bar was low. The bar was not low. I was just thinking, oh, this is gonna be a funny story for my friends. Let me just this is let me mind you, this was probably my <laughs> 60th date within four months. <laughs> Wait, we have to tell them the story about me being the Uber driver. <laughs> I was in the front seat and I, this guy was in the back because I met him on like Tinder or Hinge or something. I don't know. You did. And we picked him up because I didn't want to die. I didn't want to meet this guy alone. <laughs> so I used to bring Natalie on all my first. <laughs> I mean, wait, wait, you guys. They were in the back seat. They were literally in the back seat and I'm driving them. Like, I'm dead. <laughs> no, I was in the front seat. No, and were you? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> and we, were, we were in our bathing suits from the day. So we smell bad. Anyway. You're a dirty little rat. <laughs> but anyway, I continued to tell him that I'm sorry I could not date him because he looked too much like my brother and I just could not <laughs> get over it. And then, ergo, months later, he met my brother somewhere, which was comical, and they took a picture together and they looked like identical twins. That's it was all scary. All I know is that. But it was scary, I tell you. Back to the question how to lock down yeah. a man. Yeah. Um, be yourself because I that. that literally be yourself because True. I was going like I said not that the bar was low but like my stand not my standards I was just kind of like whatever like this will be a funny story for my friends not looking at that point kind of just like having fun I mean, like you know what yeah, yeah exactly. exactly I was like this is gonna be funny like you know what if all else fails I met somebody else yeah um so I went out when I tell you I asked this man on our first date who's your ex-girlfriend maybe I know her <laughs> what's your political view and what's your religion love that we love that so we agreed on everything and the, be up front uh, blossomed so our first date was December 13th mm -hmm. he texted he first texted me on December 3rd our first date was December 13th our first kiss was December 18th and then he asked me to be his girlfriend on Christmas. So oh my two God, weeks. I freaked out. She called me and she was like, hey, tee -hee, you FaceTimed me on Christmas. And you were like, I'm dating Sean. Yeah. In period. And now, two and a half Here years later. I can't believe it's been two and a half years. Yeah. See, me, okay, this is a thing with me and Zach. Me and Zach were best friends. I when you were drunk in the summer, you were like, maybe I'll get with Zach. Yes. And I was like, yeah. And Madison was like, go for it. Like, it's drunk well, over here. Yeah, I was like, I was like questioning it, but I was yeah. like, who cares? Fuck it, it's COVID. No yeah. one will remember Nobody anyways. Nobody cares. Hundred percent. So me and Zach were friends prior, and then like you know, like when you hang out with it, when you hang out with a friend a little too much, you're like, um, what's the vibes? Do I actually like them, or are we? Am just I friends? curious? Yeah. yeah. So Zach admitted his love to me, and I ran because this was before COVID. Because I was like, oh my god, I'm scared to get in a relationship. Like I'm scared to like people. Like you know me, I gave yeah. no one the time of day. Like I was no. not the date girl. I was nope. like, nope, I hate men. Men have traumatized me. No. Yeah. And then during COVID, I got drunk and I got with Zach, and I remember telling Madison. And I was like, eh, tea. Yeah, and I was like, I saw that coming. Yeah. And then we just kept hooking up. This is like not a good influence, but we kept hooking up to the point where then I started getting jealous and he started getting jealous when we would talk to other people. So we decided, eh, I think it's a good idea just to get together, you know. Um, love stories. Truly love stories. Be so. yourself. If that answered your question, be I yourself. How to lock down a man. You have to have already like be in the mindset where you're confident exactly. in who you are. If someone denies you, then F them. Yeah. That's on them. Like you have to have and people that. will. People will. People will deny who you are, and that just means they weren't for you. And that's okay. Yeah. That and doesn't mean you absolutely. need to change anything. That just means that they weren't for you. Yep, and no per no one's perspective is higher than someone else's. My yeah. perspective on someone is just as important as the other person. So that helps me be like, okay, it's not that I'm not pretty. It's just that person may not find yeah. me, you know, the best. Exactly. Us, you know? Your current favorite song? Mm, you and me. 
from like the early 2000s. It's like a the Cassie sad breakup oh, just kidding. dad song. Oh, that's me and you. But yeah. Cassie. <laughs> No, this oh. one's like a trucker just driving, being like in love in the early 2000s. I don't know. The one song I could just continuously listen to right now is Nonsense by Sabrina Carpenter. And oh. I love on her Instagram, like everybody's posting the Instagrams where at her concert she changes the last ending of her song. I heard to that. To match the places she's performing for. And I, was I love like, that. That's so cute. It's really funny. Does your best friend share the same perspective on fragrance, favorite type of fragrance? We yes. do in a sense because fresh fragrances are our favorite. And sometimes Natalie gets in the car and I'm like, Whoa. oh yeah, because I'm always <laughs> trying new perfumes for different like you know companies or whatever. Some of them they're tragic. I gag. Like the one the other day. Oh, uh, I couldn't do it. No, it was so strong and so bad. I will not be sharing that on the channel. I won't even be mentioning what perfume it was, just because the brand is nice and I'm like, eh, yeah, see, he, but I'm just not paying for them. And the only perfume I've ever worn not worn but like as of recently not recently probably like five years ago oh, yeah, uh miss dior blooming bouquet so good favorite i have that too hands down you put me on to that during covid yep okay let's see daisy yeah. by mark jacobs is good too that for like a quick good. little refresh yeah yeah you can wear that like anywhere who's your favorite music artist i feel like mine is Rihanna is my number one. You don't vibe with Rihanna as I, much. I do and I don't. I don't yeah. really. I love every one of her songs. So definitely Rihanna and Justin Bieber. I oh, Justin Bieber. Him. Yeah, we're so basic that I don't care. Like, I just love him. I love Justin Bieber. His music is so, like, calming. Yeah. It gives me life. Three qualities you need in a man. That's a good one. Mm. Funny. Yeah. Chemistry. Mmm. Yeah. Chemistry. You're not gonna have chemistry with everyone. So true. You need chemistry in every aspect of the yeah. world. Mm. I feel like I need, in a sense, like friendship. Like I need to be like your friend. Like vibe with you so hard where we like like to do similar things together. Like that's personally for me. Maybe because I did become friends with Zach first. See, I like that we're opposites. Yeah, you like that. One. I like opposites. Me and Zach are very different people, though. He's so quiet. Okay, me and Madison. We are like so the stage. Outgoing. Yeah, we like to be the outgoing ones, yeah. you know? Like, I'm so happy our boyfriends aren't, like, social. Yeah, my I'm ex so was, happy. and I was like, can you, like, stop interrupting me? Yeah, and stop going out, please. Like, our boyfriends love to be hermits. They like football. They like inside. Love that. Love, it. love that. I'm so thankful we have that because yeah. uh, our personality types, we couldn't. Yeah, no could not deal with that bad. I'm extremely not. jealous also. We're so jealous. And people online will be like, Natalie, how did not be jealous? I'm like, I really wish I knew. Yeah, no. No, and I, I don't even think it stems from insecure. I feel like if you're not jealous, you don't care. That's what I mean. We're so toxic. I think... <laughs> oh, God. It's the Italian way. Yeah. No, it's literally the Italian way. Okay, people say that, like, Hispanic girls are crazy. You haven't been an Italian... The Italians go crazy. I think we're all crazy. I think everyone's crazy. I've jumped on the hood of cars. Yeah, I've thrown myself in front of a car. <laughs> when I was 16. <laughs> <laughs> Reckless. Reckless. And then the worst feeling is when they just like zoom away and they're just standing there like, fuck me. No, I got yelled at. Oh, yeah. You I, I threw myself in front of the car and I, why do you think everything's a movie? Me. <laughs> As I roll off the hood, because it is. <laughs> and see. <laughs> yeah, the chemistry. The chemistry is really there. What's your worst date or worst time hanging out with the guy? Tell one that's just coming to my head. It's probably not the worst, but I remember this was 2019. I was in Bergen and I met this guy online. He said that we met, like I had him on Snapchat for a while and he said that we had met before and I don't remember why and I was like, whatever. So time went on and we hung out. Now, I was desperate, okay? I was an idiot and I just wanted to thicken the plot. So he was like, oh, can you pick me up? Cause I had a beer and I was like, no. eh, fuck it. Like never <laughs> have a man not pick you up, never. So I was like, nah, whatever. Like, I'm young. Like, I'm 19, whatever. I pick him up. And we're in the car. And he's drunk as fuck. So immediately I'm like, no, no, no. You gotta go. So he's like, can I stop at my house to, like, get something? And I was like, perfect. Then I'll leave. Then I'll zoom away. So 
he ends up, we're in the car, right? I'm in the car. And he goes, I just need to go inside and grab chicken. So he's like, I'm gonna go cook a chicken. And I'm like, babe, nah, I drove to your house. Like, you gotta go home. And he goes, you're not leaving. And I'm like, uh, yes I am, okay? This man leans over and takes my keys out. And I'm like, what is going on? So I start fighting him for my keys. And he's just like, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god it was horrid horrid so never again wait but then what did he do after that well i kicked him out of my car i was shoving <gasps> shoving him out of my car i took my keys and i told my dad and my dad was like we're finding his house <laughs> like whatever that jerry popped up jerry was looking for his house online i was like dad you're not gonna get arrested tonight over this fucking asshole like it's not happening jerry was big at the time like als did not hit jerry was why huge. did we pick up people do you think you'll have a career in the future what would you be interested in doing career you answer first like what I mean, about would, your career today? i would hope i would have a career in the future <laughs> no i pray i do i really just want to be a mom but at the same time i also yeah. feel like i'll die if i stop working but at the same yeah. time i want to be there for my kids like the whole time mm, um me too. Mm, I don't yeah. know. I always wanted to be an owner of a dance studio, but now I see like how much stress my boss goes through. And yeah. It's a I, lot. I don't, I don't know. I definitely want to do social media, but overall be an author so I can hibernate in my home and just push out books and stuff. True. So. Period. Five. I feel like we've been the same since we were like kids. Oh, 100%. Since we were like nine, we knew what we wanted to do, but yeah. hey, to bash Sean like this. <laughs> <laughs> So Sean is my boyfriend and we had my nieces christening this weekend and I was like, babe, here's my camera. Just take some pictures because I don't want to be the designated Amen. photographer all day. I'm the godmother. I want to be the center of attention. <laughs> this man, I'm looking at these pictures and I'm like, I don't understand how some people just don't have the creative eye. No, they just don't. But he tried to and all the pictures are like off. <laughs> They just don't like know how. Melted. I'm like, why does this look like I'm I'm on an acid trip? <laughs> He's like, I wanted to add dimension. I'm like, Whoa. dimension? What dimension? I'm like, we're in a church. What dimension? Okay, so me and Madison also as kids, we used to write stories, remember? <gasps> All the time. So like, I've been an author my whole life. <laughs> Literally, we would just write stories on stories. <laughs> we, we're entrepreneurs. The sin is when like, every time I would write a story, I would, okay, so the story would stay the same and then I would just add a page. But then I would make, <laughs> I would make Miss Frank read it every yes! single day. I was I would make her, I'd be like, you have to start from the beginning so you can refresh your memory, Mrs. Frank. A hundred percent. And she was like, so she'd be reading this 10 page paper about my <laughs> Dog. Okay, gang, I have like no storage on my camera. So we are gonna head out. Leave us any questions for the next drive with me because I'm with Madison every day. So we can bye. film them in the morning. But love you, gang. Love you, bye. Bed, just a mile in